After several days, I finally escaped the evil murderous dog, Wolf Wolf Bark. <laughs> Okay, this is starting off awesome. Hey, 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 what's poppin'? It's me, Robin, folks. Welcome back to MK. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at bad two-sentence horror. I'm actually rather excited for this one. Two-sentence horror pops up every now and then on my Reddit feed, and 90% of it sounds pretty terrible. So, <laughs> now I get to share it with all of you guys. In 1950, there were 2.5 billion people on Earth. Now, there is eight, but Sarah just died. I guess that number went down to seven. Holy crap, guys. I am crapping my pants with fear. A great and terrible flower is blooming. In its petals, I see my stolen teeth and hair. Guys, I think I found my new favorite sub of all time. She was surprised at the weight of the antique candlesticks. She was shocked on... Much brain matter was still stuck to it? What? Candlestick bonk. I came out as gay to my friend the other day when we was at my place. He seemed supportive, but that was probably because of the 12 gauge Remington 870 Wingmaster shotgun pointed directly at his prefrontal cortex. Does the shotgun represent cancel culture? No, it represents my deadly firearm. Or sorry, a deadly firearm. Wow, that one was great. We were both 15 at the same time. How are you still 15 while I am 18? One of these people could be a best-selling author someday. As I played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the PlayStation 2, I noticed something deeply horrifying. CJ turned to face me and said, Hey, stop controlling me with that controller. <laughs> it almost feels like Christmas, except I've got no eggnog. Thankfully, I can just milk some more from my creature. Jesus Christ! I was curious to know how chicken tastes. All my life, I only tasted humans. Ha <laughs> ha Someone's in the seventh grade. I always look at the gender reveal party, but I really don't want to hurt the man to death. Oh, it's a bot. That doesn't count. The man ducked to enter the small doorway. But when I approached, it was actually a normal-sized door. <gasps> Guys, the twists and turns we're experiencing with this are crazy. Please don't eat me, I cried. But it was too late. My dad was too far into his sleepwalk. Damn, these are horrifying. I went to my grandma's house. Let's just say she wasn't in. Where was she? She might have been eat. <laughs> Come on in. Have a seat, said the dentist. Who invented the electric chair? <laughs> Holy crap, I'm in love. My father told me that my body changing was part of growing up and that I should embrace it. I could tell he was trying his best to reassure me, but I could see the fear on his face as he gazed down at the eyeball peering out from the tip of my... <laughs> my uncle just groped me. He's been dead for 10 years. The ghost emojis really added to the horror. It's like a jump scare. <laughs> yes. The child cried as Creepy Joe entered the room. His jaw unhinged and his fangs grew as he smelled the child's fear. Creepy Joe seems a little... It doesn't seem like enough, you know what I mean? I took a side job as Santa, posing for photos with children as they told me what they wanted for Christmas. My heart froze when a girl sat on my lap, stuck a pistol in my ribs, and whispered angrily, Where's the f***ing pony you promised me last year, fat man? <laughs> Mom sung a happy tune as she flipped the grilled cheese sandwich. The noise of the sizzle from the sandwich filled the room and all was well. But sometimes, time stops and I get flashbacks. I have a thyroid problem. Now I can't jump. That literally doesn't make sense. I assume it means they can't jump off of something. No, just can't jump. Right, thank you for clearing that up for us, though. Guys, I just found out how the government erases our memories. Huh, that's weird. I forgot what I was saying. <gasps> dun dun dun. There was a man named Mr. Teeth. We still don't know much about him. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, that's not right, man. What's up with Mr. Teeth? My mom kicked me out of the house for tickling my little brother's feet. I knew I should have waited until he was born. Oh, ah, oh. When the blood starts piercing the surface, that's when you know the steak is medium rare. I watched helplessly as Gordon was searing what was once my thigh muscle. Well, that's just gross. Grandma fell asleep for the last time in the hospital bed. 
Something else woke up. What was it? Grandma 2.0. She's back, and she's mad. I wasn't scared of long hallways. That wasn't until I met the hallway man. We really are creating a bunch of generic men, aren't we? I am God, and nobody cares. Well, you're right about that one, friend. The Ikea incident. I decided to go on a tour of the Ikea factory. Little did I know, I would find the creature that lays the Ikea meatballs. Finally, someone said it. Someone had to bring it up. You always loved playing among us, Cheryl said as she looked down at her son's grave. Too bad I was the imposter. I'm upset, guys. If I don't get an A, my dad is going to kill me. Keith's body was found three days later. Damn, bet that teacher feels bad, huh? I swiftly reached for my gun and shot the intruder who single-handedly murdered my family. You can't kill the devil, Jeremy, he said with glowing red eyes as the bullet hole slowly closed. Just go watch anime. I watched him scream because I killed him. Was he uh, screaming before? After? Um, how? What? Ah, finally, I'm all alone, I said to myself as I sat in my bedroom at midnight. No, you're not, said Knife Guy. <laughs> we got Knife Guy, Mr. Teeth, Hallway Man, I think the Hat Man's involved somewhere. Don't be silly. There's no such thing as the Lobster Man, I reassured the nervous little girl. I chuckled warmly, drowning out the excited chitter of my clickety-clackety lobster hands. The Lobster Man, too? We are assembling the greatest team of villains in human history right now. He typed in, look behind you. When I did, there was nothing, but when I turned back, I saw his gun facing through my head. You're doing a wonderful job. I know servers don't make much. Here's a tip for you, dear. Hands over $20. I profusely thank her and smile as she gathers her kids and leaves. Looking down at the note she gave me, I see the tip. Monopoly money. Wow, that one was really scary. I was driving out in the country, miles and miles away from people and civilization, and enjoying the solitude, until I almost hit a naked man standing in the road, staring at the sky with his face, arms, and legs covered in blood. You gotta be more clever about the stories, like the eyeball this one. I moved to New York City recently. I suddenly feel compelled to bite and bark at the humans passing by. What are you trying to say? Katy Perry, please stop, the nun pleaded. Then the nun collapsed and died. I'm gonna need some context here. I was beyond pissed off with my husband as he started claiming to be suffering from sympathy pains during my pregnancy, as he always has to be the center of attention. It was only as I watched the baby crawl out of the tip of his pants that I realized how far he was willing to take this. That's not even horror, that's just great! It was late at night, and there was a shirt in the corner that scared me. The closer I got to the shirt, I realized it wasn't a shirt. Uh... Pants? I could not sleep when my parents got a new washing machine. My parents are dead. <laughs> Watch out for pants, man! He split my grandma in half last week. And now we have pants, man. I really, really need to piss. This wouldn't be a problem if not for the fact my stupid neighbor Darren superglued my urethra shut in my sleep. You gonna let him get away with that, or...? It was just another day down at the park with my friends. Until one hun th That's a lot of dead raccoons. Why are the raccoons falling? Gordon Ramsay on Kitchen Nightmares. Where are you getting this eggnog? Staff, we milk it fresh from the creature every day. Fuck me, they milk it from the creature. This place is going under, it. I was going to the store to buy milk. And when I opened the fridge and find my father's remains. Oh. My neighbor keeps letting his dog shit on my lawn and we won't clean it up! I had to take matters into my own hands. That's why I kidnapped his dog and sewed its asshole shut. Jesus Christ! Hopefully I'll never die, I say. Little did I know of the stage 4 cancer I was suffering from. <laughs> Here is you are toy gun, said Santa Claus. But it wasn't Santa, it was the devil, and it was a real gun, and he shoots the children! After the lights flickered out, I kept seeing her face everywhere. As I stand on the missing person sign? <gasps> Everyone always talks about skeletons in the closet. What do I do if a skeleton comes out of the closet? Uh, urgent, by the way. Congratulate him. It's not every day you see a gay skeleton. I suppose that's true. I agreed with the devil, allowing him to take my firstborn son, grinning smugly as I thought of my two daughters. 
My wife was in tears when she found out about this. I couldn't understand why until a circle of flames engulfed my son-in-law. I love going on cruises. I'm so glad we're on our honeymoon on a cruise, babe. And then I saw my serial killer stalker with a knife. That is horrifying. Girls are like strawberries. Sometimes they're in my refrigerator. <laughs> I love these. Hot chick I met on Tinder asked me, Can I suck you? Her fangs were deep in my neck before I realized what I agreed to. Guys. Guys! He died! I stare at the monitor, quickly alerting me of the most... The almost empty power supply. Freddy. <laughs> I woke up on a wonderful morning full of enthusiasm. Then I noticed the mutilated body of my children on the floor. Aw oh, man, that's a bummer of a day. Damn it! The vaccination was fine and I had absolutely no reaction. The next day I saw the tentacles. Wait, where are the tentacles coming from? Come play with me, says my daughter. I go and remember I killed her and I see her ghost holding the middle finger at me. <laughs> she showed you, dipshit. Tongs can be used to remove the foreskin. I found this out the hard way. What the hell does that mean? My mom always said that our family couldn't handle peppers. It was only when I felt my teeth falling out that I really understood what she meant. You gotta trust your mom. This car seat isn't very comfortable, said my friend at the start of our road trip. He didn't know he was sitting on a dead baby. <laughs> what is this? Dad, it's time for you to open up your Christmas presents, I said jokingly. My smile turned to horror as his urn levitated and <laughs> the tree! <laughs> We've all heard the scream at some point in our lives, in a nightmare or such, but we don't remember it until we hear it for a second time. Was a <laughs> What? It's amazing how close the water tower looks from here. Wait, I'm on the ground. And I'm not coming towards it, it's coming towards me! The water tower? Mother. Hello, I'm looking for a friendly clown for my son's birthday. Are you one of those? Murder clown. Yeah. I sat alone in the darkness, waiting for someone to come and fix the elevator, when I heard the guard's voice over the intercom. Don't worry, someone will be there soon to get you both out. Oh my god. What a terrifying note to end today's video on, folks. Maybe for next Halloween we can do a full spooky scary reading. Not of these. Maybe a creepypasta? I don't know. We'll figure something out by then. We got a ways to go. <sighs> Before we get going, though, let's take a look at today's fan art, shall we? All the voice actors mixed together. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, uh... <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's video, to consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well, make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon, why don't you? And hey, if you want to hear or see more of yours truly, you can check out the links in the description down below. And until next time, we'll be seeing ya.